Oh. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. Let me get this all set up. What's up, man? Justin, hey, I bought Dune 2016. Is it good? Dune 2016? Hell yeah, it's good, man! Dune 2016 is, like, one of my favorite games to come out in, like, forever, honestly. Hell yeah, dude! Also, where's my Tic Tac? Where are my Tic- my winter green Tic Tac? There they are. This one. Alright. But yeah, no, Dune 2016, dude? Dude, it's fucking awesome. Now we're all obsessed. I'm not gonna lie, I am just obsessed playing Kingdom Hearts. Yesterday was great progress. I also got some progress done uh, yesterday. And uh, let's just say that I've I've made some good progress. Uh, I didn't continue the game, but I also found a secret boss fight uh, that we can fight over and over again. Uh, and I also found a way to cheese getting levels in Kingdom Hearts 1, so... Damn. There you go. There... There... There you go. Anyway. Just like his favorite game, besides DMC also. Yes, DMC is just... DMC, Devil May Cry is... It's my favorite. I love Devil May Cry. It, it holds a very, very special place in my heart. Devil May Cry does. I love Devil May Cry. Man, what's up, guys? How you all doing today? Now, before we continue, though, um, I gotta get the Discord shindig all situated. You know how it is. And then we can continue. But, ri but we're today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Risk of Rain. Um, and the reason why is because I'm, uh, I'm a bit... I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bit addicted to this game. So, essentially what it is, it's a, if you don't know what it is, it's a roguelike third-person shooter that has looter shooter like style. It's like it's like a Borderlands, Destiny, and Binding of Isaac all all uh, all combined into one, and that's kind of what this game is. It's got like the craziness, the crazy loot, and the crazy combat from Borderlands. It's got the level design and feel of. Destiny, and it's got the Binding of Isaac type of progression and item drops and whatnot. Uh, and it is, uh, it's pretty dope, honestly. It's a little indie game, and uh, I've been playing it, and I'm, I'm a little addicted to it. Because uh, we're actually going to be going for a particular uh, run, because I need to get a certain artifact in the game in order to do play the game in a way that I think would be super fun um, but we'll see how that lasts um, let's see but yeah you all know the the most boring part of the stream gotta get it out of the way so let's see okay and then Empire Jerky? What the hell? Empire Jerky! Okay. Okay. One minute. I'm almost done. I, uh, I hate this part too. <laughs> okay, just I think two more. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, there we go. We are good to go. Live chat. All right. So yes, Onion Man, Casper, and Apple, welcome guys. How are you all doing today? Uh, how's my favorite beanie wearing insult screen rampage dealing gamer doing? I am doing just fine. Thank you very much. So yeah, uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play some uh, fucking Risk of Rain. Gonna go single player because you know that's that's just how it be. Uh, and uh, I'm actually gonna put the camera over here. I think uh, we'll see. Let's see. Um, artifact. Monsoon. Uh, edit artifacts. Yes. Yeah, this one. Artifact of Sacrifice. Monster drops items on death, but chests no longer spawn. Um, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna play as Space Virgil. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play as Space Virgil. Are, are you ready? Gonna play as motherfucking Space Virgil. Alright. Um... Now, I think when I'm actually... Now, this is one of the problems with PlayStation. Um, I don't know where I'm going to really need to put my... Uh, well, I'm not really going to need to worry about money right now. So, I'm going to put my camera over there really quick. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, because I'm going to... There's some information on that side of the screen. That side of the screen that I'm gonna I'm gonna need and it's mostly it's mostly the uh, the difficulty scaler that's kind of what I need to know so this is risk of rain it's pretty dope I like it it's pretty good so I'm space Virgil that's who I am I am space Virgil oh oh Oh, okay, and then, okay, and then, okay, yeah, oh, oh, see, we already got a green, what it be, oh, 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 come on, there we go, yeah, Turn invisible on taking heavy damage. That's that's all right. That's that's my first item. It's a green though, so that's 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 all right. So anything about the red lake and the foundation that on the other side, there's no fauna but monsters and weird stuff come out of it. Oh yes, that's one of the reasons why I like the uh, the red pool so much. Also, that looks ridiculous. That looks really ridiculous. So there you go. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Kill the dudes! Kill them good! Uh, oh, I'm out of my L1. Okay. I was like, why isn't my L1 spawning? What's going on? What is happening? And... Okay. There we go. Monster Tooth! Hey, That's pretty good. Drop drop a healing orb on health. So far we got two defensive items. That's not horrid. But I do need to start getting some damage. And... Okay, oh. There we go. None of them dropped a white. Damn. That's sad. So there's the teleporter right there, smack dab right in the middle. There we go. Okay. Oh. Kill you guys. Oh, God. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Yeah! Good shit. Good fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Oh! 
There we go. Cool beans. Alright, nice thing is I can pause it whenever I like. It is nice. I'll recommend reading about SCP-3456. I'll have to do that. I need I need to get back into reading SCPs, honestly. Because they are they're amazing. I do really enjoy SCPs a lot. It's like one of the only still fandoms that I I can still get behind. Because they take it seriously. And it's like, I can get behind this. Activating your equipment gives you a burst of attack speed. The problem is, game, I do not have equipment. So, I cannot do that. I cannot do the thing. Oh my god, I fucking love Space Virgil. He's so good. Also, personal shield generator. Gaining recharging shield. Wow, the game really, really wants me to know that this is going to be a defensive run. Oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! But yeah, having a shield is good. It's good, man. I swear. Oh. Okay. Oh, is that combat shrine? There's two. Okay, I'm gonna need to do those. What difficult? Okay, we're at mid easy. So we don't have the best items, so these combat shrines are gonna have to be like the the thing that kind of allows us to get good stuff. Hopefully. Oh, oh, some fucking. What is this? Ooh! Deal bonus damage to nearby enemies. Alright, that's like our first actual uh, offensive item. Is that. Oh. Nice. Ah, oh, Space Virgil is so fucking cool. You do have to unlock him, but he's not that hard to unlock. He really isn't. Oh crap. Ooh! Gotta get the big the big boy done. The big boy! Kill him! Rusted key Yeah, rusted key! That's only good for one thing. And it's not something that I can use. Kill you. Oh, oh. Alright, I'm gonna need to get into Oh, I'm gonna have to use the jump pad. There we go. And combat shrine. Where are the spooky combat dudes? Crap. Oh, oh. Woo! Oh, it's a lunar point. That's actually pretty nice. Thank you, game. Woo! Fortunately, I didn't really get any items from that. From both of the- well, I mean, I got the focus crystal, so that's- that's all right. All right, uh, phone, I need you to play the video, so that way the- I mean, I wish you could turn that off, honestly. Uh, the Orkadian Horseman has existed since the War of 1812, so yeah, it's very old, and it was spotted in the First and Second World War and still exists to this day. Its weakness is freshwater rivers. Hmm. Oh. You can just use this on anything. There we go. Thank you, game. Oh crap. Oh no, that's a never mind. I thought that was a I thought that was a green. Fortunately it was not. It was not a green. And that makes me sad. It makes me real sad. Oh. 
Oh. A med kit. Man, the game really wants me to have a defensive build, doesn't it? This is sad. Let's see, so that's my... I'm not gonna count the rusted key, cause I, I mean, I, I know I have to, but it's like the rusted key is only for like a particular box that you can only get if you speed run the game. At least that's from my best knowledge, I believe. It's, it's an item that you use and that's it. There's nothing else about it that is good. All right. Nice. Okay. And also just be, it could just because like, you know, this is the beginning of the game, so there's not much to, there's not much to get at the beginning. Um, so I might, ha I might hear in a bit, I'm gonna have to probably activate the boss, which I'm probably gonna do right after I kill these guys, honestly. Oh. Okay, I'll kill this guy, and then we're gonna go off to the boss. And damn it, I wish... Okay, I'll kill you too. Okay, none of them dropped an item. That, that sucks. That is the big sad. Alright, where's the teleporter? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab this money though, so that way I get a little bit more extra experience for exiting the level. Alright. Oh boy, pondering vagrant. died? God damn it. Son of a bitch. Wow. And of course that had to give me fucking a wandering vagrant. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Maybe you should have started giving me some offensive items, game. God damn. Literally leave me in the dust. Oh. Okay, this is already... This is already a better, uh... Already a better run, honestly. Dead! Destroy! Oh god! Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of happy I died, because that last run was just... It was kind of dreadful, to be honest. A bunch of shit that I just, I couldn't use. I honestly could not use almost any of those. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so, sorry, we're gonna have to see more of this level. I swear there's more to it. Uh, but we are going to activate the Shrine of the, um, Shrine of the Mountain. Here we go. Um... Okay. Kill you. Okay. Oh. No one has dropped an item yet. That's, that's not good. That's not good, my guys. Let's see. Bam. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Alright, uh... What the fuck is up there? Oh! Big guy! I'm gonna uh, go after the big guy, cause... 
I don't know. I don't know how how exactly the loot drop system works. Old guillotine! Already a good starting item. Amazing. Instantly kills low health uh, elites. Old guillotine is an awesome item. That is a dope item. It's my first one! I'm so happy. Oh, oh dear. Oh, here we go. Do that. Okay. Uh, oh, is that another shrine in the mountain? Or, I believe, oh my god, it is. Uh, yeah, but we're, we're definitely gonna activate it, but I'm gonna need a lot more I might need to activate some of these things, honestly. At least with the start, I'm gonna have to. Cause man. Yeah, I should probably start activating a lot of those things around the map. Now I gotta find the goddamn teleporter too, since it's random where it, where it shows up. Oh. Sticky bomb. All right, sticky bomb is all right. That's a that's a pretty good one. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Oh. Do that. Oh! Oh, that was my sticky bomb. That's right! That's right! Money. Thank you for the health. Healing drone. He's practically like a healing item at the moment. I think he, I think he lasts the whole level, I believe. Nice. Oh! Focus Crystal! Okay. Ah! Okay. Now, I don't think there's another shrine in the mountain, um, but I want to kind of go look. Oh, I think that's an elite. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go see if there's like any other shrines of the mountain that we could possibly use to uh what's it? Also, there is falling damage in this game for some reason. I don't know why. Even though there's no like you can't die from fall damage, even though there is. It's bizarre. Um, oh, that's a big guy. I kind of want to kill that guy. First, I'm going to kill you. Oh, oh. That's not good, man. One, two, three. Man, I've only gotten three items this round. That. Okay. No item. Damn, I'm only level five at the moment. Okay. Oh, elite. Aha. All right, le le left and daisies. Left and daisies, all right. Uh, periodically uses a healing note, but really only that can be used during like teleporter events, which it, that's fine by me because teleporter events can be kind of nuts sometimes. At least at the beginning. 
Oh, that was very clean. That's actually one of the reasons why I really like this guy. Hey, armor piercing rounds. Fuck yeah. Okay. So yeah, so wow, already, uh, uh, this is so much of a better start than what we had previously. The last game we had was just so, what the fuck? But so far, this is much better. Okay, let's grab that to get some more money. Crap, I just didn't miss that though. Okay, oh, oh. Alright. I feel them both, fuck yeah. Okay, oh. Ooh. All right, uh, I'm gonna see if we can find more of the, I think, is that one open? I think this one's open. Oh wait, no, this is, yeah, yeah, that one's open, gotcha. Right, here we go. So, ooh. Okay. All right, we should probably, yeah. As much as I would like to get more items, the game doesn't really seem like it's wanting to give me any more items. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, all right! Cool beans! I guess I'm gonna have to go the long way since the game doesn't want me to fucking... There we go. That's much better. All right, let's kill these guys. Let's do you, and then you. Do that. Okay, also gotta check just in case if one of those guys dropped a light or any type of item down there. Doesn't look like they did. All right, kill you. Oh, you know what, mid pack, good. Cause it was kind of like, all right, now we probably need a little bit of defense. Just a little bit, not too much. Was that, nope. Uh, let's see. All right, you know what, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. But wait, we're, oh yeah, no, the teleporter's right over here. Oh, and, uh, and with that fact, we also have Shrine of the Mountain as well. So we have that to look forward to. Because now, since we've gotten two Shrine of the Mountains, I believe we're going to get three items for being the boss. Shrine of the Mountains are rare. Uh, and I tried looking for another one, but... All right, who's it gonna be? Oh, dear lord, are you kidding me? Of course I had to be Wandering Vagrant. God damn, four Wandering Vagrants? All right. All right, we're gonna have to take our time with this one. Dear Lord. Ooh.
God damn it, dude. Come on. Wow. And the worst part about it is that it had to be Wandering Vagrant. God damn it, man. What the fuck, dude? Come on. All right, we're gonna try a different character. This is gonna be the last. This is gonna be my last try, and I'm done. Cause I was hoping to do a stream today where we get through Risk of Rain a lot, but Risk of Rain is just kicking my ass. So it's like, what the fuck, dude? Come on. Why another wandering vagrant? Why? Come on, game. You can't do that to me. Why Wandering Vagrant? Any other boss would have been fine. But you spawned four fucking Wandering Vagrants. I mean, yes, the fucking Shrine of the Mountain, I get it. It's supposed to be hard. But why couldn't you just give that to me, man? Alright, well this time we're gonna play a ranged character because, man... I don't know, Space Virgil just wasn't doing it for some reason. Which is weird because he's like my main. Well, we're gonna do Huntress Bitch then, <laughs> who is pretty much second best to Space Virgil at this point. Man, dude, can I just like cut the last two fucking sessions and just do it this one? I just wanna... <sighs> God damn it, man. For real. Like, for real. Come on. If I see a wandering mountain, I'm only going to activate one, because apparently two is just too much. I've played this game a lot, and dear lord, I don't know why, I don't know why I'm having the worst luck ever. And the worst part about it is that the, wor the luck has to appear, this bad luck has to appear while I'm streaming. It's like when you play basketball, and you shoot hoops, and you're doing really good, and then you ask your brother to watch you do it, and you're terrible at it. That's exactly what this is. Hitting air enemies is super difficult with that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Kind of wanted to do this with... Oh my god, is that equipment? It reveals all... In that is completely useless in this mode. Why even give that to me? Yeah, that is completely useless. I should have done Huntress to begin with, to be honest with you, though. So sorry, you guys are gonna have to see, uh... You're gonna have to see this level uh, for a third time! Alright, I'm... I swear, man. God damn it. I'm so pissed. <laughs> that should have been given to me, that last game. That that was stolen from me, is what happened. That was absolutely stolen from me. And the game fucking knew it, too. <sighs> War Banner... <sighs> this is already a fucking... eh, run. Alright, Goat Hoof, that, that's better. Because movement speed is important. Jesus Christ, I'm already getting my ass handed to me. What the fuck? There we go. Alright, uh, let's see. Some level 3. I swear if the game gives me Wandering Vagrant again, I'm fucking done. I'm just straight up done. That was three items, dude! That was three! Three whole fucking items that were for me. And the game was like, nope, nope, not gonna. Man, I had a good run earlier, and I don't know why I quit my game. I kinda wanna go back in time now to tell myself to not quit that game. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go, let's see. Yo, why you kinda look like Mike from Stranger Things? Mike? Um. Uh, I don't even remember which one was Mike, honestly, but uh, I don't know. I guess I look like Mike. <laughs> oh, 
Ugh, can I get this equipment off of me, man? This is like the worst equipment ever. Because it's like, I'm playing a mode where chests don't spawn. So it's like, I don't, I don't need this item. This item is completely, yeah, like I can find, I can find drones and shit, which I should probably do that a lot more often now. Because at first I was like, eh, maybe like one or two, but it's like, no, apparently now I gotta get them all. All the drones that I can to save my ass from four wandering vagrants and a shit ton of enemies, dear lord. Oh, who's that? Uh, heal all nearby allies for staying still for two seconds. That is also a completely useless item, essentially, for, for this right now. I mean, yeah, if I stand, I believe, even if I attack, yeah, like if I stand right here, it'll activate, but once I get hit, it's like, nope. Alright, that... Okay, there we go. Now I have a now I have a reason to activate my equipment now, because now I'll get uh, I'll get increased attack speed now. Let's see. Uh, let's see. On the topic of SCPs, what's the most horrifying slash scary SCP? Yeah. I on this definitely some of the world-ending ones. <laughs> Actually, I think I have. I, I yeah, I know one in particular. I just don't remember which one it was. I, I don't remember the name of it either, but I do know a particular SCP that was, uh, that I think is really scary. And it is definitely one of the end of the world ones. All right, I'm gonna activate every single drone from now on, um, once I, when I play single player, because I never really had that problem to begin with. Uh, but I think it's just because, like, you know, I'm playing the game differently. Enemies drop loot instead of me finding loot. Um, that's kind of, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's kind of the big, big problem that I'm running into. Um, so we're gonna activate just everything. Just to increase our chances of, uh, getting stuff, honestly. Which I should have done that to begin with, but I was stupid. Um, scrap items, yeah, we're gonna scrap that, and we're gonna scrap... Okay, and we're gonna scrap that. Because those are completely useless to me right now. Alright, so there is the... There it is, right over here. Teleporter. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Man, I need you enemy. I, I need these enemies to drop way more items, dude. There we go. Gasoline. Killing enemies sets nearby enemies on fire. That's actually a pretty good one, honestly. Let me read the rest of the comments. Alright, let's see. Uh, no, he looks like Tom Hall. <laughs> uh, I meant to say years ago when the Tom Hall and Spider Man came out, I was going to tell you that you asked Hollywood to figure out how to look more like him and be a stunt devil. This turn from two to five viewers in like a second. If you're watching, you see this drop like, and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, oh, thank you. He's usually playing Doom, Devil May Cry, and lately I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. Yes, it is true. I have been playing Kingdom Hearts lately, and I've been really, really enjoying Kingdom Hearts. I love it. It's like a game from my childhood, just like Devil May Cry and all those other awesome PS2 games that I remember playing way back in the day. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, is there really no other three D printers, or am I stuck with this? 
I might as well, if there's not another 3D printer around, then I might probably, uh, I might just go get another thing of gasoline since it's the only other option I have, which I'm probably gonna go do that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. Cause I think, I think this is the only other 3D printer around. So, there we go. All right, well, we're gonna just activate it since, you know, I just want, I just want to fucking get through this goddamn level. Beetle, thank you, God, man. Give me a boss that I can actually do. Thank you. Wow. Should have done that to begin with. That is definitely the one thing that I do not like about this game and some of the roguelikes I've played is that, man, you'll either get abused by this game or fucking treated really well by this game. And I hate that, honestly. There we go. Okay. Damn it, this is already a better run. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Bleaching seed dealing damage heals you. Yes, thank you. What is this? Heal over time, activate to send to an ally. Heal over time. That that's that's alright. That's not the best, but that's that can come in handy. Razor wire. Tell you in a burst of razors on taking damage. That's also really good. Also a white! Oh, this is Repulsion Armor Play. Yes! Thank you, game. You're actually treating me good now. Why couldn't you have done that in my last two runs, game? Huh? Why, game? Wow, you can activate that in 13 seconds? Really? Holy crap. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Please, dude. Uh, you got to, you got to secure, uh, bleh, I can't fucking speak. Shadows died twice. Uh, not on my PS4, on my Xbox, so. And, uh, I play, I played a little bit of it. That game is very, very hard. <laughs> um, honestly, it, it, it was way too hard for me, to be quite honest with you. I, I, I was like, yeah, this is the first Souls game I, I've had to kind of go, damn, I, holy shit. This is fucking hard. There we go. Alright. Finally, a new level! <laughs> Finally, progress! Oh my god. Man. Why couldn't you have done that in my last two games? Game. There we go. Okay, oh. There we go. To be fair though, the Huntress is... She is definitely one of the best ranged characters, and the uh, Space Virgil is definitely one of the best uh, uh, melee characters, but man, I was just getting the worst luck. And I was getting too cocky. But then again, it's all luck-based. Like, literally four... Four fucking wandering vagrants. Yeah, yeah, right. Cool beans, I guess. <laughs> I'm still, I am still so salty about that. I am. Why, why wandering vagrants? Oh, these things actually stick with me for the rest of the. Oh, cool. Okay. Let me read the comments real quick. Uh, I had to admit, I was really happy when I saw you screaming and then got kind of sad, but I saw it wasn't Kingdoms, but I really like this one too. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, I fear SCP-610, 096, 682, and most of all, I fear the Broken Destroyer. They're all horrifying. Oh yeah. Uh, no, but the one, uh, the one SCP that I think is one of the more scarier ones, and it's one that you don't hear about. It's not all, it's not like the more well-known ones. It's, a. Uh, I forgot exactly what it's called or which number it was, but essentially the idea is that there's this cave, right? 
And uh, on the other side of this cave is our, it's Earth. So essentially, uh, it's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like if you walk into the cave and then you just end up like walking back out the same cave you ended up walking into, that's kind of what it is. And so they sent like these this team of researchers, right, uh, into this cave. And uh, they came out and it's like, wait a minute, this is a cave we just entered. But they walk around and they find out that everything that was alive is dead. Literally, like everything that's alive is dead. No insects, no nothing. No humans, no animals, no insects. Uh, and they find out that every single SCP as well that was alive is also dead. Like 682, he's dead. 682 is dead, and 096 is dead, they're all fucking dead. And they're like, what the fuck is going on here? And whatnot. And they go into like this base or whatnot, uh, and they find out that I'm not probably remembering it quite as well, but they find out essentially what's going on is that when you enter this cave, this, uh, like, they don't know what it is, and you can't even see it, but they essentially assume it's death. Like, death essentially attaches itself onto you, and if you walk back into that cave into your own earth, it'll kill everything in that earth, like, instantly. And they find out that like they're going between three different Earths, and what's happening is that two of the, of the three Earths have been wiped out by this death thing. And, and like I said, you, it's only a concept, you know. It's not like there's an entity that's like attacking them or whatnot. It's only a concept. They just find out that um, they assume that yeah, there's like something following us through this cave. We don't know what it is, and we can't see it. We can only just theorize it. And they find out that, yeah, if we walk back to our normal Earth, everyone and everything on our Earth would die. Just immediately. Uh, with no rhyme, no reason, no explanation. They would just die. Um, and uh, the guy ends up killing himself in, in like, the alternate Earth, essentially. Because that's, that's all he can do, because if he goes back, um, he's gonna kill, he's gonna wipe out his Earth. So he has to kill himself, and he kills himself by activating a nuke in one of the other Earths. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot what SCP that particular one was called, but that's essentially, yeah, that's essentially what it was and what it does. It's been neutralized, aka close up. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. It's been neutralized, and no one is going to be able to walk through it and whatnot. But yeah, it's just one of those things, man, where it's like, fuck, dude. Like, it's neutralized, but just the idea that a simple human walking in there and walking out could have wiped out our existence, like, like that. That's fucking horrifying. It's like, wow. And no one would even know. There's no warning, no nothing. It just, it'll happen. If some idiot just decides to walk through that cave and walk back, then there you go. Oh. This actually might be a pretty good ult for me, to be honest, because it activates quick and it helps my, uh, it helps my, uh, Warhorn. Teleporter right there. <laughs> uh, energy drink is all right. It's not the best. 
but that does uh, stack with my uh, goat horn or goat horn, whatever, whatever it is, uh, which is really nice. Yeah, I, I guess with this mode, you definitely want to activate as many uh, pods and as many gunner pods as you, as you can. Especially if you're going to be going for that. Um, Ocular HUD. Um, Ocular HUD is good, but this is just... This activates quicker, heal over time. Sorry. Yeah, it's on the 40 seconds one because of the ocular HUD. Cause ocular, ocular HUD is really good, but my build isn't set for a crit build at the moment, so ocular HUD is like not the best. At least for right now. Cause that's a good item, ocular HUD. That's a really good item. Or equipment at least. There we go. Let's see. Um uh, I remember that one. That one was fucked up. I mean, how would you want to go out with a bang or a whimper? I know, right? <laughs> now, one of the signs for here are dragons. May they rest in peace that we miss. I always love them. They're now where the dragons are. Here are... They're now here were dragons. I'm not... Cr <laughs> uh, yeah. That one's really good. Dragons were here, damn. Yeah, that one, that one is really sad. That's actually a really, a really cool SCP. That's the thing about SCP that I love, you know, is that, yes, a lot of SCPs are fucking awful and terrible, but there are still some that are good, you know? There are some SCPs out there that aren't trying to kill humanity, you know? And that's kind of what, it's like a, it's like this interesting balance where not everything is evil, you know, and because most uh, most SCPs are either evil or they are bad, you know. Um, but there are still SCPs out there that are good, you know. Ooh, syringe! I will take that. Thank you very much, soldier syringe. All right, I think. Um, I got into yeah. All right. Let's activate the boss. The Stone Titan. Just razor wire, nothing else. Ooh, into the syringe! Yes, dude! Nice. Ow, my legs. My leg! Oh, is there more enemies? Is that what I'm hearing? I'll kill them all, man. We gotta at least try to get more items. Yes, crowbar. Crowbar is good. Oh. Charge teleporter, awesome. All right. And I think, I think that's the last of the enemies. All right. Yes. At least we have SCP-999, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, early point Delta. Let's see here. What is this? That is a dagger. Yeah, I believe that's the dagger. All right, so now we're on very hard territory.
Man, that would have been really dope if he dropped an item. It would have been so dope, game. So dope. They're all getting their ass whooped. Oh, oh. No item? Sad. Sad just. Sad man. No item, no sad. Okay. Still no item? Really? Damn. Demons! Bounce between you, yeah! There you go. Ah, uh, no. Well, actually, no. It, uh, I can use that as scrap. But the only problem is, is that is there, is there a scrapper in this level? And I do sure hope the answer is a whopping yes. I really do hope. So we gotta look for a scrapper, and these levels are huge, by the way. They're fucking ginormous. Uh, and because of that, let's see, what is this? Hell no, I don't want that item. Screw that. Um. Yeah, please let there be a scrapper in this level, please. I just got... Oh, Monster Tooth. Okay, that's that's a good one. Oh, yes! Yes, there's a Scrapper! Um... Death Mark... And item scrap. All right. Oh yes. Oh, oh, never mind. That was a healing orb. Never mind. I thought that was. I thought that was a green. It was like, oh, green. Nope, it was not a green. There we go. All right. See, we're getting a better run now. So now, now it's like, fuck yeah. Hey, look, guys. It's the green. It's the green orbs from Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Alright, so now I might want to get that, uh. Oh, killing me assistant. You're about in Jump Fire. I might want to. Hmm. You know, I might. Unless it, like. No! Not all of them! Oh my god. Okay. Well, I didn't think it would get rid of all my gasoline like that, honestly. But gasoline is... it's okay. Oh, oh, he dropped the brooch, though. Thank you, I need that. Well, shit! Um... Well, I guess we can take this guy. I guess we can take this item scrap. How many? Four? And we can, uh... We can trade it in for two other things, I guess. Chance of lead enemies on hit. Okay, and then I guess... Yeah, so basically I just... I traded uh, fire damage for permanent bleed damage, essentially. So, and not that, not that bad. But damn it. If I would have known... Oh, didn't want to really do that, but... What is that? Is that... Oh, okay. Um, but is there other 3D printers that could potentially have an item of my liking? Also, that's a combat shrine. If not, I'll probably just hang on to these uh, two uh, item scrap until I find a who's a what's it that I like. Fresh meat. Ooh, fresh meat's good. Fresh meat's good. Regenerate health after killing an enemy. That's a good one. That's a good one.
Okay, oh, oh, oh. Are pissing rounds? Fuck yeah. Oh, is that a missile launcher? Yes, dude. Missile launchers are fucking awesome. What is this? Yeah, there's two of those in this map. Why why another? Is that no, that's not that. Okay. Alright. Huge insides are huge and sad. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Here. Oh, is that ukulele? That's ukulele. That is fantastic. Wow, the game loves me now. Thank you, game. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna hold on to these two scrap. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold on to these two scrap and hope that uh, maybe like any other. What's it later will give me something else that is also really good. We're on insane right now. We're on stage three. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff from this. So I think yeah, you know what? We can hit the we can hit the teleporter. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh, good lord, Magma Worm. Magma Worm is, is a boss that's he's not hard, he's just annoying. Because, like, yeah, he, he digs through the earth and whatnot, so it's like crap. Whatever that is, I want it. Leech and Seed, yes, that's good. Leech and Seed is good. Is that another missile launcher? Yes, it is. And that... You know what? I might get rid of... I might get rid of that one, honestly. Because turning invisible while taking heavy damage like that, that that's a good one, but I might get rid of that as well. We'll see. That is if uh, I can only get particular scrap, but... Here we go. No, no! Flying Buffalo! Crap, crap, I need to get back up. I need to get back up. There we go. Got a little too cocky and carried away there. This is one of the reasons why I don't like the Magma Worm. He just, he, he just does whatever he wants to. It's like, my god, man. It's like, I want to go fight this boss, but I have to fight him in the circle. Ooh, syringe. Yeah, look at that. Like, why are you all the way over there? You have to come over here, dude. Okay, that was good damage. That was good. That was good. Ooh, teddy bear. Teddy bear! Okay, tougher times. I've used tougher times, and it's almost like it just doesn't really do what it says it does from my experience because yesterday I put on like 14 of these things and I didn't really notice that big of a difference to be honest with you because essentially what they're supposed to do is that they're supposed to block incoming damage so like you you essentially get like a free hit but man even when you have a lot of them on it's you don't really feel it honestly just kind of sucks because in theory, it's a really good item, but from what I've played so far, I don't know. Maybe I have to put on like 30 or 40 of them. I'm not too sure. Look at this dude. He's all the way over there. Now he's dead. 
Uh, did he drop, like, any items over here? No? Okay, he didn't. Damn. But, uh, we get... Predatory Instincts! Predatory Instincts! That is a really good one. See, now, Ocular HUD would be good because we have Predatory Instincts. But now we actually start, we have to start getting, um, uh, the glasses. Oh, the Abyssal Depths. I like this level. This level's fucking nuts. Is that a Magma Worm right here? Is that what that is? This game sure does love it. Yep, yes it, yes it is. I knew it. This game loves its Magma Worms. I don't know why. Also, this guy. Hello. Oh my, oh my. I'm surprised he didn't drop uh, an item. Bustling fungus. All right, we're definitely gonna scrap that. <laughs> oh, it's a werewolf on a dolly. Let's see if he walks into this. He did not. I was kind of hoping maybe he would walk right into my arrow, but no, he doesn't. Damn it. More magma worms, my lord. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. There's some money right here. Take that. I'm surprised my drones have uh have stayed alive this whole time. Oh, that was great. That was good. That was good. Die! 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 Ah, yes, he died. Awesome. Uh, but no item from him. That's uh, that now. See, that's not very cash money. That's not very cash money in the game. To not give me items after I killed this big boy. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go around the map. I'm definitely gonna activate a lot of these. Let's see. Okay, so we got one shrine in the mountain. Uh, they're worth it. I believe me, they are worth it. But I'm a lot more confident now because we have better stuff. Uh, probably not. Well, I guess, yeah. Okay, we just have to find the scrapper because there's some good items here. I might want that particular green. War banner, I'm probably going. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hold on to war banner because I don't know. War banner might be pretty good for now, at least. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Uh. Let's do that. I do need to find a, uh, I need to find a scrapper. We're also, uh, this, this area actually has a secret, a secret area that I want to see if we can get into. Because a lot of the time what will happen is that this, a lot of these levels have secret areas. And, uh, sometimes they're just locked. But other times they're open. I don't know what prompts it. I don't know if it's like you have to do something to unlock them or whatnot. But from what I've played of the game so far, what will happen is like they'll just be open sometimes and then other times they won't be open it's very random i see these guys are starting to spawn there we go 
and it's closed. Damn. Yeah, so like that right over there, that's a secret area. And sometimes it'll be open, and then other times it'll just be completely closed. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I hit that way too early. Alright. Is there any more shrine stuff over here? I also need to find that scrapper. After a while, that attack just kind of automatically does uh, its job. So it's like sometimes, like if there's no enemies around, you activate it. It's like, well, gotta use it. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I do wish you could cancel it though. Ooh, that's a lunar coin. I will take that. Okay. Um, but yeah, like we really need to find a scrapper and possibly more. I usually use that attack to kind of like give myself some extra air time when I need to do a dash. It's kind of what you saw right there. There we go. Alright, uh, alright. Whoa! Hello, big boys! Um, Crowdfunder? No, you do not want Crowdfunder. Well, Crowdfunder probably isn't bad. Crowdfunder probably isn't bad now, but I'm not gonna use it. But essentially, what it does is that it uh, it uses your money as ammo, essentially. I already opened this. I did. All right. We. Yeah, just like that. That's what I'll do. I'll use it to like get some extra airtime. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Being this good thing doesn't matter if you're gear. Not having a big, big stuff just is a good thing. Well, you know, uh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We oh another warhorn that's actually yeah no that's that's good actually that's really good warhorn that's fantastic actually oh my god oh lord I should probably hit the boss but I don't know I don't even know where the boss is ha oh oh boy ah is that red oh my god that's a red all your attacks explode holy shit. I just got the red. I just got the fucking red. Oh, oh my god. That that is amazing. That that is amazing. Oh my god. I now do constant explosion explosive damage. Also, lens maker glasses. Uh excuse me, yes. Wow. Uh, that's even, that's even better. That's even way better now, holy shit. But we have yet to find any, uh, scrappers, unfortunately. It's probably just because there's so much shit happening. It's like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Um, but I, I also do need to find the boss, because, uh, we're starting to kind of get to that, to that point where things are getting crazy hard, so that's what we're gonna do. We, we haven't really gotten that many items from, uh, from this, unfortunately. 
But having that red and then the lens maker glasses like right after, that that's that's really good. Alright, I gotta wait for this to cool down. If anything, like I really I really could use a alien's head though, honestly. Because alien's head, what that does is that it uh it makes all of your cooldowns uh 20% less. Like they uh they they uh cool down 25% faster, essentially. So you can use your stuff way more. And you can end up getting it to the point where you have no cooldowns. Um alright, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna see if Oh, good lord. Well, I already did a lot of damage to the boss so far. Holy shit. Christ almighty. Oh my god. There is an obsessive amount of freaking magma worms recently. I guess right there. Oh my god. Woo! Okay, that's one down. At least I think there's... Let's see, okay. I don't know how many there are in particular. Oh, there he is. Oh. No, I'm guessing not. But the love is strong, but the atom bomb is stronger. Oh! Let's see, uh... Magma Worm, where are you, bud? I, I, need, I need you to fight me. Why are you all the way... Oh, there's two more Magma Worms, oh. Yeah, this is the problem I have with the Magma Worm as a boss fight. It's like, he just does what he wants to do, and it's like, well, I can't really get out of the teleporter, because I need to stay in the teleporter. Ah, fuck it. They're not coming to me, so I have to go to them, unfortunately. Stay. That's the that's the worst part about this. I need to stay in here because if I if I'm ever if you don't stay in the teleporter, I believe something bad happens. I'm not too sure. That's what I've been told. I could be completely wrong. Oh, one of them is just dead. Did he drop anything? He didn't drop anything. I'm surprised with all the enemies that spawned right here. I'm surprised that none of like we got like one war war banner. I just like how my, uh, my drones at this point, they're like the only thing that's like actually fighting him. Ooh, but that is a flashbang. Like, oh my god, how did he go from over here to all the way over there? Like, what the fuck? Also, that is that and that. I want those badly. I'm gonna have to try to get back into the... Oh, 
perform piercing rounds and go to the... That's, that's really good. Come on, Magma Worm. I need you. Alright. Where is he? Oh my god, game. Come on. For, oh, look at that. Personal shield shield. And another ukulele. Okay, well, you know what? That's pretty dope. You have to die, man. God, this is not a good boss. It's not that he's hard or anything, it's just... He's just a bad boss fight, man. Look, I swear he's taking less damage, too. There we go. There we go. There we go. Die, 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 die. There we go. Finally. He's not, yeah, he's not even a dangerous boss. I mean, as you see, he, he clearly doesn't care about, about, he clearly didn't care about me. He just wanted to fucking float all the way he wanted down there. <laughs> all right. And we should get Molten Chance on hit to fire Magma Balls. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good one. Ooh. Yes. And now we are going to enter Sky Meadow, and this is like the this is like the penultimate room, I believe. Yeah, this is like this is like the the penultimate level. Now you can't. Oh my god, another magma, magma worm. Damn it! Hello there, little. What's up, guys? How you doing? Look at them. They they look at me. They are adorable. They are adorable. All right, let's see. So now, hey, what's this? Is that, what is that? Is that a crowbar? How many scrap do I have? I have two. I'm gonna take a, yeah, I'm gonna take a crowbar. Oh. You know what, fuck, I'll take another crowbar. Because, yeah. So now I do 250% damage to, uh, yeah, I now do 200%, 250% damage to healthy enemies now. Oh, I thought you dropped an item. And I died. And I died. I don't know how I died, but I just died. <laughs> wow. One attack annihilated me. One singular attack destroyed me. I had full health and I just got wiped out in one attack. Wow. That is... I don't know, man. Well, um, I can safely say this was a failure of a playthrough of Risk of Rain. Because that was... that was awful. That was bad. That was really bad. All right, Kingdom Hearts will be next in a bit. So look forward to that. I'm gonna take a break from Risk of Rain cause that was bullshit. Uh, and this game cannot deny that to me in any way. Why don't you switch to Twitch? Because Twitch is a cesspool essentially. Yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts time. But uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break uh, and whatnot. I'm gonna make myself drink some tea uh, and then we'll start Kingdom Hearts here in, in a bit. Uh, but yeah, wow, that was, uh, that was crazy. But yeah, uh, why don't you switch to Twitch? Uh, well, one, because I lost my Twitch account, and they won't let me, uh, they won't let me play, or they won't let me stream on Twitch anymore for some reason, so I've kind of lost my account there, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, it's also because Twitch is a cesspool, 
Uh, and I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll probably start anew again, but I've already tried to do that and it didn't really go anywhere, so... Uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those things where YouTube is really just the only platform I'm big on, so yeah. No, I have donations set up. Um, it's just one of those things where people don't know. that, And that's another thing, I think that's kind of my fault because, uh, uh, what's it, um, I don't, I don't specifically say, hey, there's a donation button. No, there, there is a donation link on my PayPal. Um, and if anyone wants to donate money, you can go donate money to my PayPal and whatnot. Um, I just don't deliberately say it a lot. In fact, I kind of forget about it. But, um, yeah, no, I do, for, I do have a donation link on my YouTube channel that leads to my PayPal for people who want to donate to the channel. But, uh, you know, it's not really, it's not really something people need to do. It's not something that people, you know, I'm not advocating people to do it, but, you know, it's there. Uh, but if people do donate, uh, I make sure that their channel link and their uh, and their name get shown in the description of my channel. As you can see right here, donation shoutouts. Uh, so far, only really two people have donated to the Justin channel itself. Um, yeah, and that was uh, Emily and FSSG. They are the only two people that have donated to the channel. Uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, shit. I can only do Google Play money. Can't send PayPal. Not old enough. <laughs> no problem, my guy. It's all good. I must be back by a bit. Yeah, I'm, I forgot. I paused for a sec. Screw Twitch. Use it. Bit shoot. Make a new one. I might make a new one. It's just one of those things, you know, like... I, I'm so into YouTube, right? That it's just like... get Doing Twitch is gonna be so, so difficult. And it might... I, it might not even really go anywhere. Like... Realistically, if I want to do Twitch, I, I would have to get a pretty big following on YouTube. And even though, yes, I have 675 subscribers, only about, I want to say, 10 to 20% of people who have subscribed to my channel are actually active on my channel. Um, I would, yeah, I would say about 10 to 20%. Sounds about right. 25 is pushing it. Uh, but that's for like all YouTubers, you know, and whatnot. But yeah, um, that's kind of how it is. Let's see, making OnlyFans. I'm good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm here forever unless I want to sleep. Subzilla, you'll get there, bro. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna take a quick break. Uh, and then, uh, we're gonna hop over to Kingdom Hearts, and, uh, don't worry, just because Risk of Rain kicked my ass, uh, doesn't mean I'm never gonna play this game again. I will stream it again, because I do really enjoy this game. It's really fun. Uh, but yeah, no, we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts today, and so I'll see you guys there, but I'm gonna take a quick break, so I'll see you guys there in a bit. Let me read this, come on. I'm not active, I never have the time, I finally get to lay back and relax. Oh, you're good, dude. You're all good. Kingdom Hearts time to do fast. Alright, see you see you when the Kingdom Hearts stream starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 